I know they really said this, but Eric Garcetti has told the folks that occupy that they can stay as long as they want. Do you agree? Actually, uh, I've never said that. No, no, Eric. Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I was saying Eric Garcetti had said it. Uh, made it very clear that the city acknowledges the First Amendment right. I mean, acknowledges people here to 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 be here and, and to protest in the way that they have. And uh, I can't tell you uh, that uh, we um, have made uh, that commitment, but we certainly acknowledge that people have a right to be here, uh, to protest, uh, to... We've also said that we'd like them to comply with the rules, um, and that's important as well, but, uh, you know, right now we're just trying to work uh, with them. They've been very peaceful, and that's important. Uh, they've... Um, usually uh, cooperated and collaborated uh, with all of us, and so we're making the accommodations that we made. It does cost about $3,000 a, a day to do it, Yes, overtime there is for... a cost to this, and I've, I've made that very clear. And, uh, I've said uh, to the council that, uh, that uh, we all got to acknowledge that uh, there, there is a price to bear, uh, but uh, at this point, the fact that people have been peaceful, that they're working to accommodate the city as well, uh, is, uh, is a positive sign. And Mayor so they can stay there as long as they want? I, I think for now, uh, we're, we're in a place of, uh, of uh, accommodating, uh, and it's, we'll see what happens uh, when it's is there a right to assemble or not? Does the city hold itself responsible for protecting the people's right to assemble or not? Mayor? You want to answer that? So I want to Mayor? Answer okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, I had a question about uh, the president. He's coming here on uh, Monday to hold a, I think they call it a Latino fundraiser. <laughs> well, I'm going to be at that event. Um, uh, the president will, will be, as I understand it, uh, attending two events here in support of this re-election efforts. I, of course, uh, support his re-election to be here. These are uh, tough times, and uh, the president's working hard to make sure that he gets his message out and that's what what does he need to do to improve his relationship with Latinos? We've seen some of the polls indicate that, that a lot are unhappy with this, particularly immigration policies. You know, first of all, I've made it absolutely clear. Uh, President Obama does not have a vote in Congress. President Obama has been supportive of comprehensive immigration reform. Uh, he's been supportive of the DREAM Act. Uh, he has called on the Congress to do their job and to fix the broken immigration system. Uh, the fact that they've failed to do that is not uh, his uh, responsibility, his fault, if you will. It's theirs. Uh, and I put the blame on the Congress, and particularly on the Republicans who are opposing any effort at comprehensive immigration reform or the DREAM Act. There's no question. You know, I tell people, look, when there are so many people who are unemployed, so many people uh, who have lost their homes due to foreclosure, so many people who are struggling to make, make end meet. When young people are graduating from college and can't find a job, uh, you know, when people are going hungry and the, the way they are uh, all across the country, when the, uh, when the middle class is losing uh, its median income by 10% in just uh, a couple of short years, yeah, there's a lot of frustration. And I certainly understand that. Okay. Is he in danger of losing some of the Latino vote? I mean, that's what the polls I think, suggest. I uh, no. Look, first of all, <laughs> campaign's more than a year away. You guys are pros. You've been around. Uh, it's a long, It's a lifetime in politics. Uh, the, the Republicans, if you watch those debates, I mean, come on. Uh, even you all who, who, who tend to be uh, 
um, impartial, uh, you watch that and you wonder if you're watching a cartoon or a comedy show. 